Okay, welcome everybody to Coffee and Art Monday morning. Rainy, rainy Monday morning in the ATL. So, um, anyway, it was nice over the weekend. And then, uh, yeah, we got the rain in. And um, so, it's dark and kind of dreary out. But that means the light should stay the same. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Thanks, Terry, for the link for the girls. <coughs> I'm drinking juice so that the change in weather can, uh, my voice doesn't go. All right. So we're going to call this segment Books Old and New. It's a little bit of a glare there. Um, <coughs> Books Old and New. So I went to the flea market. <coughs> Flea Market Antique Mall this weekend, and uh, I, I posted pictures on Twitter and Facebook, and uh, uh, they're public. On I put um, to make them public on my Facebook. I I put them under my uh, what's on my art desk. So if I'm doing something out and about, it goes on what's in my art desk, it's just so that it's public. Because <laughs> if I just post it on my Facebook, it just goes to uh, people that I follow. So. Um, all my art, all my art video, I mean my art albums on Facebook are public. So, yeah, it, I know, right, Susan, now it's pouring down rain. Okay, so it's a flea market, and I picked up a few things, So, and then I've got some old books, and then i got some new books. So that's what this segment's going to be called. So there's a little bookstore in the uh, flea market part. It's not, there's two sections. One's an antique mall section, and one's a flea market. And uh, <coughs> at the bookstore, uh, the little used bookstore, I got these two books. And then this stuff I got in the antique mall. And then, uh, yes, I didn't go crazy. I just got a couple of things. But in my Nick Van Tug, now the, the dust jacket's a little wonky, but I figured for a dollar, um, you can't go wrong. So um, this was one of I have. There's one other Nick Van Talk book I do not have, but I have all the rest of Nick Van Talk's book. And I posted a picture on um, where did I post a picture? Uh, I, oh, I think I posted it to Paula because Paula was saying, "Don't you already have that book?" And no, I I I was gonna buy it for a dollar anyway, just even if I did have it, but I didn't think I had it, and I didn't. So it's The Venetian's Wife. And Nick Bantock, you, and this book is from 1990-something. Uh, 1996. He's my, like, fave collage artist. And um, so anyway, he, and his stories have collage and then stories. And, and uh, like, if you ever, um, if you ever uh, read the... Um, uh, what do you call it, series? Griffin and Sabine. <clears throat> the Griffin and Sabine series. And these, you know, they came out in the 90s, and they all have, like, little postcards, letters. I mean, like, tons of them. This had to be expensive to publish back in the 90s. Um, the, this one is, this is 1991. So it's like 91, 2, 4, 7, you know, it, throughout the 90s. He published the Griffin and Sabine series. Well, I did not have this one. This is not, I don't think it's part of the Griffin series. Um, but he has other books, too. Let's just do a little Nick Van Talk moment. So we've uh, talked about the Trickster's Hat. I think this is his last book that came out. A couple of years ago. Let's see when did it come out again. We've, we've talked about this one a few times. This is 2014. The Trickster's Hat. Urgent second class. Creating curious collage. Dubious documents. And other art from ephemera. And this one came out. Two thousand four. <clears throat> So, I, I love it. He's just, I love his collage work. So, he talks about where he gets his stuff, how he makes his collages and all that. So, that's Urgent Second Class. The Forgetting Room. 
This one came out in 1997. And then I have his biography, The Artful Dodger, Images and Reflections. And this one came out, as soon as this one came out, I, went, I, I bought it the day it came on the shelf, 2000. And this is about his life. I mean, it's his biography. This book here, which one is it called? This one here with the drawers. That's the last one I don't have of his. Oh, uh, what's it called? What's the book called? The Egyptian Juke The Egyptian Jukebox. So anyway, this is awesome. And then now I can add to my shelf The Venetian's Wife. And it came out in 1996. So now I have all but one of his books that I know of. I, I've heard something that he was coming out. Hey, Jan T. Uh, anybody else I missed? Hi, Limo. Uh, hey, Sammy. And um, so for a dollar, even though it has, you know, the dust jacket's a little warped there, I figured for a dollar to add to my collection. All right. So that will go on the shelf. And the other thing I got at the little bookstore was Robinson Crusoe illustrated by N.C. Wyeth. And that's why I got it, because it was illustrated by N.C. Wyeth. Now, this was an old library book, you know, after library books, you know, get sold. So it's in really bad shape. It really is. I mean, it's all the tapes yellow, and it's really in bad shape. But I bought it for the, um, it only spent a couple dollars. Uh, I bought it for the illustrations. So, because they're NC Wyeth illustrations, and I can't, I, I can't tell why, I don't know why there is not a, um, uh, there's not a, 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 a you know, a, a copyright page in here. It just floored me. I mean, I looked real carefully. Um, it did say, the only thing it said here was, and there's no pages torn out that I can tell, so I don't know why. It just has right here. The paintings by N.C. Wyeth reproduced in this volume are fully protected with copyright. The edition, this edition of Robinson Crusoe is added to the Scribner Illustrated Classics in 1957. So I, but there's no like first edition, no copyright, you know, not, I mean, no date. So I have no idea if that, if this book came out in 57, because that's when the illustrations were put in. I don't know. Yes, I have the yes, I have the Trickster's Hat Pacola. We have done a few projects out of that book. It's been a while. It's been probably a year or two. But yeah, um, the Trickster's Hat. Yeah, and I've read from it. I've read his preface. I've read yeah, because it's really a good it's really good uh, intro uh, to that book. I've read it a few times. If you all want me to, I'll read the I'll read the Trickster's Hat uh, intro again. I mean, it's been a year or two, probably more like two. So anyway, like I said, it's got um, N.C. Wyeth's uh, illustrations in it throughout. And all his, you can, you can go look up all his work. <clears throat> hey, Mink. Oh, yeah, I, I love me some books, too. <laughs> um, so, yeah, every, I don't know, 20 pages, there's another illustration. I know there's a ring glare. So, anyway, I thought that was kind of cool for just a couple of bucks, you know. Even though it's, it's really a, it's a beat-up copy, you know. It's not like a collector's copy or nothing. It's a, it's an old library one. 
Okay, library sale. And then in the in the uh, what do you call it? Um, the antique mall part. It's a, it's a, hey Scoops. It's a combination of antique mall and flea market. This was in the the antique part. So I got uh, there's one booth that I love. The and it has all kinds of coins, postcards, old stamps, um, all kind of paper goods. Um, old books like this. This was all wrapped up so I couldn't even see inside. But it was just a few dollars so I wanted it because it's a color book. And it's from the 50s. So I took it out of the bag and everything and it, it has been colored in, which I didn't care because I wanted it for the vintage color book, you know. And so anyway, I got these postcards. I'll show them to you. I bought this one for Terry Trouble who moved to Oregon recently. And she always goes out on these outings uh, she and her husband and dog and they go out and they have they take the best pictures and the best videos and she posts them on uh, Facebook and some on Twitter too but I think the videos I think she just puts the videos on Facebook but anyway Terry Trouble who's one of my mods um, so I got picked this up for her it's one of the falls off of uh, what highway do we say Columbia Columbia Highway in Oregon it's uh, something one of the girls I forget who now found the found the up uh, found this picture on uh on and posted on Twitter and uh, so she found it but anyway because Terry moved to Oregon and she takes they go to all these falls she went to Silver Falls that was beautiful this is not Silver Falls but anyway um, yeah videos are in both places okay because I usually watch them on Facebook and see your pictures on Twitter. <coughs> so anyway so I got this one this one did not have a stamp on it most of the ones I had a stamp so it just says uh, July 7th on the Columbian Highway and there's no uh, date so I'm not sure but anyway that one's for Miss Terry so I'm going to set that aside these were 12 12 for five dollars so they were under 50 cents each so, I mean, I just, you know, how can you go wrong? And like I said, if nothing else, some of them have stamps. And I love to read the little notes and things, right? So, this one is, I'm just going to kind of go through them. Near, near, Molna, Molna, ah, it's going to be a tongue, <coughs> tongue twister. The Falls near Portland. <laughs> Let me get a drink here. <laughs> um, so anyway, but she has she takes the best videos and they're just quote you know they're just like thirty seconds videos because she's I guess she's taking I'm sure she's taking them on her phone but uh, doesn't the phone take great videos and pictures I mean I don't know it's I, I love our phone our iPhones Terry okay so this one I'm gonna show the postcards because they're just kind of cool I should probably take them out so there's not a glare um, this is Bruton Bruton Parish Church erected in 1683 rebuilt 1716 in Williamsburg, Virginia. I probably am going to need my, let me get my uh, magnifying glass. I'm sure I'm going to need it. I have my mag light on my phone, but that'll put a light on here. And, uh, you know, the way they wrote, it's funny because Grandma had that kind of handwriting that was, I mean, Grandma's was neater than this, but it was hard to read, kind of, you know. <coughs> Cold, but heavy something just I don't know but anyway <laughs> this one and it has a whole write up this was from January 4th 1936 and so you know it's got the stamp on it and everything so 19 this one's from 1936 I figure you know 12 or 5 dollars right <laughs> I know Terry, me too. And Terry, I have not forgotten about putting our putting the animals up on Society Six. I just gotta finish drawing them. Okay, this one is it looks like French, a French place. <clears throat> but anyway, I just bought it because it looked it, you know, I I wanted all the vintagey looking ones, the ones that were like sepia, you know. 
Here's one, again, it looks like German. But it was sent to someone in Atlanta, Georgia. I don't know if I can see the date on the stamp, on the postmark. Oh, it looks Dutch. It says Netherlands there. It's, the, I guess, the Dutch Queen. I don't know what year this was. I can't see a, I don't see a date on it at all. But anyway. I know. Did you tweet for this stream? Oh, no, Terry, I didn't. <laughs> I forgot. Let me let me tweet real quick, guys. Thanks, t thanks, Terry, for reminding me. I got so busy looking at Xandra's um, pictures from Australia of the three of them. So in case y'all didn't, y'all knew from last week that Janet, Xandra, and CB are they went to Australia to visit Australia and Jen Oz. Um, oh come on. Uh, hang on, guys. So I was busy looking at Xandra's pictures on Twitter and forgot to tweet. Uh, Coffee on the morning. Live. Come on. Hang on, guys. Uh, where's my coffee cup? There it is. Profile or use that. We can probably use these. Okay, I like to reread. I try my best to reread my post before I hit send. That's a good habit to get into. I don't always do it, but. <laughs> Um, I got lots of old paper postcards. Yeah, I I had bought a couple of uh, scrapbooks that were from I think the 40s. One was a girl that posed. She had a whole bunch of letters and stuff. They're around here somewhere. I have to dig them out. I think one of them I deconstructed and uh, took out all the vintage <clears throat> birthday cards, Valentine cards. I took all the cards out. I think it's downstairs on my bookshelf. I ha I'd have to go dig it out. Uh, yeah, I do too. I've been looking at their pixels. Yeah, I know, Kitty. They, they're just so good. Okay, so let's see what else we got here. This one is from, again, the handwriting's hard to, you know, read. It looks like Dear Hetty. And this went to Mar Margate. I can't tell. Let's see what it says. Man, um, mansion House in London. So this is London. Hey, May. So that's a vintage London one. Again, guys, I bought them for the, just the overall look and feel. Some had stamps. And uh, so I bought them for that, the, the vintage look rather than, than the place, you know. This one is sent to, oh, this one's sent to Hetty in, Ill, I guess it's Lake Forest, Illinois. This one didn't say Illinois on it. Or maybe that's who it's from. Oh, Dear Eddie from Hetty. <laughs> this is your hometown? London, you mean, um, Sammy? Or this place? Well, Sammy, you want this one? Message me, email me, I mean, email me your um, address. If you want, I'll send this to you. If that's if this is the one you're talking about, I'll send it to you. Hey, Jen. Hey, Sherry. Terry, will you put my email in there, please? Okay, so let's see what else we got here. This one is Hotel Standish, Worcester, Worcestershire, Worcestershire <laughs> Massachusetts. Thanks, Terry. And this is by the same lady, Hetty or Eddie, uh, Dear Eddie. I suppose you are 
the same jolly Londoner William Clark off the Saxonia wish to be remembered to you Lil Stott and then it went to Miss Hetty Field Lake Forest Illinois care of Miss E. Neal there's a lot of people involved in this one a lot of people involved but this is the same person uh, being a Londoner I'll send you that one too Sammy I'll send you those two because they're they're for ones from a Londoner and ones in London <laughs> hey G how you doing okay so let's see what else we got here this one I don't know if, if y'all if this is not interesting to you and you're watching this on YouTube just fast forward but this is this little segment's called uh, books old and new and then on, on the next se segment I'm gonna work on some art cards <laughs> okay all right so this one is this one went to Alabama dear Harold I'm <clears throat> glad to hear from you uh, something conditions excellent this fall I don't know if that says that's not fishing hunting oh hunting conditions excellent for this fall able to accommodate you October 14th to the 19th um, something something drop me a line immediately as to accommodation and number coming in your party uh, we all enjoyed it looks like someone's name what is it no legend legend of the <clears throat> oh we all enjoyed legend of the dogwood be seeing you um no date but this one is in alabama <clears throat> newly built looks like <laughs> I know I love old papers too okay let's see what else we got here hang on all right this one is William Kirkpatrick Fountain Union Park Syracuse New York I don't think it's this old it says March 8 1806 that must be the fountain um, let's see because it's night oh it's well she has 18 no I guess it is 1906 okay so it's 1906 that's when this one was sent 191906 Ben Franklin's on the post on the one cent stamp <laughs> um, sent to someone in New York so anyway yeah fountain this is like one of those hand color well they're not hand tinted but you know they look colored you know hand tinted or whatever you call it um, they're not printed tinted <laughs> anyway. <laughs> okay this one is again it's um, either a Dutch or German something strot you know the street I'm not sure um, maybe I can tell by the stamp it's 19 this was 1952 bosom B U S S U M 1952 I guess that's the um, town I'm looking at yeah so it looks like um, Dutch okay so that's somewhere somewhere in the Netherlands again I just bought them for the the looks of them you know the old buildings the old churches the the old vintage sepia colored all right, this one is library and classroom in Erskine College, South Carolina. And this one is no date. Here's hoping that you have a fine vacation. I had a safe and something trip, but found my mother ill. I shall be a nurse for a while. Just like something like the mountains. Take care of yourself and have fun. Best wishes. 
anyway, it was sent to Alabama. I mean, I got these in Georgia, so it stands to reason that we're going to have, you know, some Alabamian <laughs> sites. Uh, you have a pile of these somewhere? Yeah, you need to find them, Dot. So there's that one. Again, I got these 12 for five dollars. And I went through the, I put the big, they're, they're in those plastic bin boxes, right? And I set, there's tons of them. I don't even know, 10 different bins of them. And I just picked two or three and set them on the counter and just flip, 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 flip. Until I found 12 I liked. Um, this one, airmail, this is 1952. The stamps are upside down. I don't know if they're Dutch or German. Um, and an and vol. It looks like some kind of canal. But anyway, again, I didn't buy them because I could read them. And then this last one <clears throat> looks like it was taken out of somebody's scrapbook. This is what happens if you glue things down in a scrapbook. Just saying, don't do that. <laughs> Uh, this one is Piazza. I can't, it's half covered up because of the paper. But anyway, there's that one. So yeah, that was fun. That, that, that was fun. Just, and just like I said, there's, <laughs> there's thousands of these. And then they also had individual little postage stamps for sale. They had a whole big tray of lost relatives, as we like to call them. You know, people's old photographs. And I've got, I've got, a, I've got a bin full of those from Hubster's family that I can use because nobody remembers who half of them are. Anybody that in the family that knew who any of them were, I pulled them out and made books and stuff out of them. But a lot, we don't know how half of them are. And that's, that's, that's before, you know, that's one of the bad things about not scrapbooking. I mean, I've got a bin, a whole big ginorm ginormous tub of Hubster's old family photos. I have no idea who they are. And neither does anybody in the family. So, yeah. So, anyway, they have, um, they sold lots of little lost relatives. I think they were like, I don't know if they were a dollar each. And they had, you know, f f big ones and little snapshot ones. They had coins. They had postage stamps. I think those were two dollars each. I don't remember. But the postcards were dirt cheap. Twelve for five bucks. I thought, you know, under 50 cents each. Okay. So, I saved this till I have not looked at this except a peek. I peeked inside because it, it was all wrapped up. Again, I got this at the, um, I got this at the um, antique mall section of the flea market. That glue was rubber cement. Yeah, exactly, Terry. Or the old tape that was before it was uh, um, acid-free. Scotch tape is acid-free. Um, I don't know what kind they used back then. It was obviously some, you know, something you wouldn't want to, you know. Lost, yeah, lost relatives. You know, like Tim Holtz, his little, uh, his little character people that he get it has, and I don't know. If, I did clean out my cards and ATCs, but let me see here. Yeah, here, these kind of things. Here, I have a few left of Tim's um, lost rel or found found relatives. <laughs> yeah, well, they're lost and then they're found, but these kind of things. These kind of pictures, right? They're everywhere. You can find these kind of things everywhere. These are on cards, see? But I have tons of these from Hubster's family. I got some from, Mom's got uh, my grandpa's pictures. Grandpa has pictures, and Grandpa was a photographer, so I'm hoping I'd like to get duplicates at least of all of Mom's albums that Grandpa has, and then my aunt and uncle have, because my uncle is my Grandpa's son, you know, so he has most of the, the like the family Bible and the genealogy and the, all the old pictures and stuff um, that Grandpa took, because Grandpa was a photographer, and so he has tons of old pictures. And um, Grandpa came over in a, in, I don't even know the year, came over in a covered wagon to the Northwest. Um, they settled up in Montana, Idaho, Washington. That's where I was born. And um, 
so we got tons of grandpa saw grandpa grandma we have i don't even think grandma ever had her picture taken until she was probably in her 40s she had a she had a life my grandma but um anyway so these are timmy's tim holtz cards instant ancestors yeah that's good too lost relatives instant ancestors Look at that bow. Huh? They're so cute. Look at them. They're tiny. Tiny little children. And none of them, you know, very rarely do you see them smile. And I heard tell. I heard, I heard tell. I heard tell. <laughs> the reason they're, just not, they're not smiling is because they had to stand perfectly still for like, I don't know, a minute. Uh, so that the picture would take. And so that's why they're not smiling because they're having to stand real still and not smile. I don't know how true that is. But, oh, here's one that's smiling. But she looks like she's out of the 50s or something. That looks like a, you know, a photo booth or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. But I have a great picture of mom, mom high, mom's high school graduation picture. I did a scrapbook layout of her. I don't remember which scrapbook it's in or I'd pull it out. I think it was in one that I did a contest for. For the scrapbook magazine. I think she's in that one. If I could put my hand right on it, I'd go get it. But I'm not sure which book it's in. Yeah, that's why they stood perfectly. Yeah, because so they're not smiling. They look too much like your school pictures. <laughs> Eileen! You're not that old, Eileen. <laughs> you were in color days. <laughs> anyway, so I did clean out a lot of my stuff. Um, I went through all my ATC trays, of which there are six. Six ATC trays. I'll, you know, y'all know what I'm talking about. These things here. These. I went through six of these and cleaned and sorted and, you know, I got a whole bunch of, I think it's trash, but I kept it for Sue's, uh, <laughs> papers and stuff. I did that. I went through all my, uh, stamp pads. I had two trays of stamp pads and I cleaned those all out. And now I'm down to one tray because the rest of them were dried out. So I got all my stamp pads all cleaned out. I feel so proud of myself, having done so much work. Uh, all the uh, my mail, my happy mail that I send out uh, uh, cards and stuff. Sorted all that. What else did I do? I sorted all my um, Project Life cards. <clears throat> At first, on, on my shelf up here, I had all my Project Life cards. And I know y'all are going to go, OMG, when you see this. But I had them all stacked up. In, you know, the trays that they come in, the Project Life kit sets. I stood them all up in the little, so I could flip through the little trays. So I had all my trays, about five or six trays of the Project Life cards. And I have them all sitting up so I could flip through them. Thank you, Eileen. So I... Michaels had all their, you know, I got had got some last week, and then they went on sale for 70% off. So they're $10, 12 by 12, clear plastic storage things, went on sale for $3. So I bought more. So all my Project Live cards are all now sorted. There are three of these. Three of these bins of Project Life cards. And then I have one of the bins is the, the 4x6. Because they come in the kits, they come with a 3x4, and then they have the 4x6 postcard size. So, I have all those in, an, in their own. So, yeah. Let's keep them neat. So I have three trays of these that I sorted. Aren't you proud of me, Eileen? <laughs> so yeah, I um hey Aunt. And you need some Project Life cards. <laughs> so um yeah. 
I'm still sorting all kinds of little half-made postcards, half-made ATC. Well, no, not ATCs because ATCs are sorted, but um, art card size. My art card size is three by four. ATCs are two and a half by three and a half, and that's what these are. My ATC um, bins. See, I have three of these with ATCs. So this is all three by four. Uh, two and a half, sorry. Two and a half by three and a half ATC size. But I don't make ATCs anymore. I make art cards, which are three by four. Which, by the way, the next segment today I'm going to work on. I already started laying out some uh, art cards to, to work on. So we're going to work on that in the next segment. Okay, so back to my... Uh, antique mall well Eileen for a long time I was using them in scrapbooking um, uh, I, I'll, I'll try to go I don't know if the diva's out because I don't really want to go wake her up if she's in the other room hang on let me see okay I can't go in the other room where my uh, I have a whole bookcase whole tall bookcase. I have like 25 scrapbooks in there. As the grandkids were growing up, I, I have I have like 25 scrapbooks, like the, the big binder kind, 12 by 12 binder kind. And uh, a lot of my scrapbook pages were with the art, the um, Project Life cards. So yeah, um, you can probably see some of them in, I think I have one or two. I, I think they're still up videos on scrapbooking. Hey, Karen Kay. Okay, so. Okay, Ange, take care of yourself. So this uh, color book, it, it, and it, it's really falling apart. I mean, it's really rough. It was all in a big plastic wrap. Uh, I took it out of the plastic wrap. The plastic wrap looked old. ATCs are... Two and a half by three and a half. Project Life's are three by four, and my art cards are three by four, except when I do postcards or other sizes. I mean, like, we sure go on a lot of rabbit trails, don't we? Here. So, let's see here. Sorry, guys. I have this one tray of, of ongoing kind of stuff here. So, I have postcards. I don't have many because I give these things away, but the, these are the postcards um, that are four by six. Most of my art cards are, where's my little pile of, I have a few, <clears throat> three by four. And this is what we're going to work on today is stuff like this. These are three by four. These are my art cards. And I do these and I give them away. But this is what the kind of things we're going to make today. Like this. Um, but I've also made, hang on guys, let me rubber band these back up. I'm trying to keep it neat. I've also made the little inchies, the little tiny ones, but I don't really make these anymore. They're really, they're really tough to, they're tiny, <laughs> you can see, but they're kind of fun, you know. Uh, let me find a better one here. There's one with uh, painted little. Um, it, it, these are bits of watches, but it looks like the Sydney Opera House, doesn't it? And then uh, I just painted little people like coming up some stairs. That's all just paint. I need to go back to finish your scrapbooks of your ancestors. Yeah, uh, I did as many as I could. Um, but yeah. So you see my little tiny people. You see how small that is. There's my thumb. So yeah. I made a few of these. Not too many because they, they are little. Um, <clears throat> so yeah. I sorted. Sorry guys for the bump on the camera. Okay. So let's look at our uh, vintage color book. It's from the 50s. That's all it said on the packaging. 50s. I haven't even looked to see if there's a copyright date in this or not. 
so you, you did some inches so I can frame them for your dollhouse oh that's great Jennifer yeah Jennifer uh, crack minis she does miniatures yeah yeah <laughs> for your dollhouses okay so let's see yeah see there's no intro page here this is it but look <laughs> it's a little some little kids color book but I wanted it because we do color books and it's vintage I mean literally if I if I'm not careful the whole thing would tear it's that it's that um, um Oh, here's the publisher. It must have flipped. I don't know why it's right here. Maybe the book is needs to be. Wait a minute. Let's see here. Let's see if it's not connected to the back. Yeah, see, this needs to go this way. There we go. There we go. Copyright. Oh, gosh, it's in Roman numerals. It looks like 55 is let's see x l v i i i so that would be 50 5 8 58 is that right m c x l v i i i is that 1958 i think that's 58 <clears throat> yes yeah, very brittle very brittle and the and it was just folded the wrong way so now let's go through it. Isn't it just, I don't know, just kind of brought back memories, you know, because I always grew up coloring. You know, it looks like you're, <laughs> you girls. Uh, and it's, it's that, the color that you're seeing on screen, it's that color. It's that yellowed. 1958, okay. Thanks, Sammy. Um, it's this yellowed. Oh, someone was getting creative. Look, dots. Oh, I know. Hollyhocks. And you know what I like about it? They didn't feel like they had to finish a page before they moved on. Oh, let's just color half a leaf and we're moving on. <laughs> love that <laughs> nothing's finished you know kind of like we do now <laughs> you know part of one of yours from about 1958 Lynette <clears throat> yeah and it's very brittle I mean it's like very brittle guys now that one looks like it's almost finished that one looks like it's almost finished And look, got very creative with the pumpkin. Trying to do some shading here. It's like tea stained paper that's aged out. Yeah, it is that color. Look at that. It's like yellow, orange, and red. And then like the dark shadow of purple. This person, I bet, became an artist. What do you bet? <laughs> uh, yeah, they got on a rabbit trail. Look at all the little picture colors of the lilies. Anyway, like I said, guys, I bought it sight unseen as far as the inside because I just wanted a vintage color book. Um, you know, because we color. And, uh, yeah, self-portrait. <laughs> I love it. I just love it. Oh, my gosh. Look, there's the eyes. There's the nose. There's the mouth. This is like, you know, what you imagine a face to look like before you learn to draw what you see. <laughs> oh, but anyway, springtime, a book to color. 1958. So I got that. Look, I mean, it's really bad shape. But like I said, I didn't buy it because it was in good shape. Okay. Then... Um, hang on guys, let's see. I think that's all the old books. And, uh, yeah. 
it's amazing that the colors of crayons they used yeah well you know all right let's take a moment let's take a little uh, moment here I mean Take a moment. We're going to take a Crayola sniffing moment. So if you have your box of crayons, that I these are only made for sniffing. Everybody. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and in case you didn't know, I redid my table here. I, I painted a solar system on my desk. <laughs> in case you hadn't noticed. So this is all just done on my black paper. And then, of course, I always have to show this. Sister woman, Jonna, Darcy Glam's sister, sent me this a few years ago. It's a travel emergency crayon sniff box. So, you know, if you're on the road, you know, you might have to have, yeah, my, here, yeah, Melody just mentioned it. Here's my emergency sniff pack. They've, they've never been used. That's not what they're for. They're only for sniffing. Okay, I better quit. I might pass out. So, yeah, <clears throat> travel emergency crayon sniff box. <laughs> Okay, so on to the new books. So, and, and I gotta say, I was a little disappointed in this, this purchase. Um, I got one purchase and then I got some that were sent to me. I bought this scrapbooking, scrapbooker. Th this magazine's going to Jean because she's the only person I know that still scrapbooks. So it's the new, the brand new. Uh, spring 2018 scrapbooker magazine and I went oh look there's probably all kinds of new stuff that's come out since I quit scrapbooking four years ago <laughs> I don't know how many years ago um, I mean I've been streaming for eight years almost eight years and I've been on YouTube now I think for going on five years and I haven't scrapbooked except for a page or two sorry for the garage door sound there guys um, I've scrapbooked a couple of pages here and there, but, you know, I gotta say, nobody wants them. I mean, I cannot give my scrapbooks away to my family. When the kids were here, when Cam and Boo were here looking through the scra old scrapbooks, I said, let's just take a moment. Nana has spent many, 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 many hours scrapbooking these books for you guys. And y'all never want to look at them. You're gonna look at them, kids. I'm gonna make you look at them. I didn't quite say it like that. They knew I was teasing them. So they sat down and they looked at You know what they did? <sighs> Wait till the garage. You know what they did with the scrapbooks? They looked through them all. I have like 25 of those big, I mean the big 12 by 12. And I got some, um, I got some older ones that I did with like greeting cards before scrapbooking came in. And I got, we got tons of pictures around here. I've got bins of pictures around here. You know what they did with all their scrapbooks? Oh, look at that! They flipped them and took pictures of everything with their phones. So all their scrapbooking pages that they liked, the ones that they liked of themselves, they put them on their phones. <laughs> oh, hey, Marie. Sorry you're booting yourself out. You can stop now. <laughs> but anyway, I... I I might go get, maybe not right now, but I, I will do it soon. I'll get out a few scrapbooks and flip through them. And then Annie out in L.A., um, I said, Annie, I got these scrapbook pages. I said, I'll either make your own album. I don't want them. Well, you don't want scrapbook page? No. I don't have any room for them. But they're, 
and she didn't say it mean like. I mean, she went. I'm, I'm kind of like you know embellishing that a little bit. She didn't say it mean. She goes no. She goes no, manna. That's what uh, Logan, my other grandson out in L.A., calls me, manna. The other two call me Nana, but he calls me Mana because he couldn't say Nana when he was that little. He could so I Mana to him and Nana to the other two. Anyway, she doesn't want them. They don't want. They have everything on their phones too. Everything's digital. There she has her own. She has her Facebook albums and her own. You know they don't want any real pictures. <sighs> so anyway, I have them. I'm not. Of course, I'm not getting rid of them. I have a whole bookcase, top to floor to ceiling, of all scrapbooks, and that doesn't even include all the bins and bins of pictures. I've got boxes. You know the old photo boxes. You know the postcard size photo boxes. I got uh, probably 10, 15 of those in the closet. And that doesn't include the bins of loose pictures. Drawers of loose pictures. I mean, it's like they made... I mean, somehow I ended up being the uh, curator of the families. You know? <laughs> you cloud your scrapbook? <laughs> no, right? Yeah, that's what they do. They cloud it all. So, anyway. Uh, do you watch... Kodachrome on Netflix SF Film versus Digital. Okay, Mountain Dreamer. And Barry said they will want them when they get older. I don't know. If they have them digitally, that's all. I mean, and then, oh, oh, and then let me tell you this. When I was scrapbooking everything for all those years, right? Years and years and years of scrapbooking. I mean, Cam's 18. I mean, I scrapbooked him, you know, since the day he was born. Um, big scrapbooks. I'm talking the big 12 by 12 ones, people. <laughs> I was all involved in two peas and all that. Um, so not only did I scan all the pages and put them on my different computers throughout the years, I made CDs. I have CDs of every, because I, was, I wasn't using my iPhone for most of those pictures, I was using a big, you know, big camera. And I would download those pictures to my computer, edit them in my computer, and then print. I printed all my own photos. I've always printed my own photos since that has become a possibility. You know, obviously back before you, know, you had the Instamatic cameras and all that, you know. I have tons of pictures of Denise and Annie when they were, when, you know, went on our vacations and stuff, taken with the Instamatic cameras, like, cost 20 bucks to get 12 pictures printed back then. Anyway, I printed all my own pictures and everything, and, and then I put them on CDs. So I have them in C, on CDs. I've got boxes of CDs. <laughs> anyway, okay, so let's get back. So anyway, I thought... Well, this looks very promising. And you know what? I want to look through it. So I'm going to buy it. I'm going to look through it. And then I'll send it to Jean. It hasn't changed hardly at all. I hate to say that. But scrapbooking hasn't changed. I'm still going to send it to Jean. She can she can glance through it and give it away too. She can pass it on to well, another person. But anyway, uh, it really hasn't changed much in since four or five years since I've scrapbooked significantly. You know, I, I mean, I've done a page here or there. But I haven't really um, significantly scrapbooked for four or five years. And, I mean, there's some cute pages in there, but it's not anything really different. I guess I, I don't know what I thought. I thought maybe it's invo evolved into a lot of traveler's journals. Because I see that online, on YouTube channels. A lot of girls are doing traveler's, you know, the traveler's journals, scrapbooking and, and or planning in those. But scrapbook pages in and of themselves, oh, it's all the same. I hate, you know, there might be one or two little techniques that are different, but not much. But I was, you know, I was up on every scrapbook thing at two P's anyway. You know, every any new thing, I was up on it. So maybe the, I've kind of got jaded as far as that because somebody probably thinks, oh man, those are awesome. But it's not, it's not that they're not awesome. It's they're not different. You know, so anyway, so that's going to go to Sassy Pants Jean, who is, uh, she's out this morning with her cousin at breakfast. Okay, so now on to the new books. Let me move these out of the way. So Miss Melody, Miss Melody sent us 
Hannah Carlson's, she sent three copies. She didn't just send me one, people. She sent one for Ustream and one for YouTube. So I will be doing a giveaway. It, I can't do it this week because I won't be available over this coming weekend to monitor a YouTube giveaway. And if you've never done a YouTube giveaway, you got to monitor it. So I will be doing this next week, which is, I think, the first week of May anyway. And that's when I want to start doing a book a month giveaway. So I will give these away. Uh, let me zoom in one. I will give these away next week. One, I know, isn't it sweet? Hey, Krusty Brush. I'm going to give one away to the YouTube gals. And one, well, and guys. I mean, the guys color, you know. And one to the Ustream. So I've got two, one for each. For next, we're going to do that next week. Again, the reason I'm not doing it this week is because this coming weekend, I have family gatherings and get togethers and I can't monitor a YouTube giveaway when I'm not can't do it right so uh, we'll do that it'll, it'll be good for you know the first week of May and I know Mother's Day is not uh, international in uh, ours is in May I think y'all just had yours last month or something uh, the European girls but anyway it would be a nice you know thing for a uh, combination of Mother's Day book giveaway so apparently one of the girls looked it up and it's either called jewelry or jewel jewelry box that's the translation and these have just come out I don't even think you can order them yet on Amazon if you can then it's just come out uh, but like a few days ago when I when Melody sent them you couldn't even get them on Amazon yet a pre-order I think so anyway we're gonna look through let me take out my thing here and I'm going to put these two to the side. <clears throat> and I'm going to flip through this one. So that will be that will be next week. We'll do a giveaway on both. Let me tilt. Maybe I could tilt my light just a little. Just a little bit of a glare. There we go. So thank you so much, Melody. I know. So sweet of her. So I just did a little test page in here. Um, using some uh, Posca, the Posca um, metallics. So I used, what did I use? I think I used the gold and the pink. I think I used these two. No, that's orange. Where's the gold one? Anyway, I think I used, no, maybe it was, the, was it the orange? Yeah, it was, okay. It's considered, I guess it's orange, but it's really kind of gold. It's kind of a copper. It's copper. Um, and the pink and the pinky pink one i can't tell you the colors because it's all in japanese but i use these two colors to do a one of the keys in here there's terry put the link up okay is it available now terry to order yes posca has metallics uh, and I, you know i had <laughs> some melody had sent me these i think a while back i think she's the one that sent me my metallics i got uh two four seven of them there might be an eighth one I think there's a silver one, but I was using it, and I put it, probably put it back in the wrong place. So anyway, uh, the orange one is like copper. So what I did is I took the orange that looked like copper and the rose color and made like a rose gold metallic. Um, so anyway, yeah, <laughs> it's on pre-order. Okay, so anyway, Melody um, ordered them, I guess, directly from uh, Europe. I forgot what it said. It said it on the thing. August 14th release? Oh my gosh. Uh, Mother's Day is on the second Sunday in May. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. So, I'll give I'll give two of them away. One on Ustream and one on YouTube next week. Which I think next week's the first week of May. I think. And I'll probably do it on a Wednesday. So, it won't be this Wednesday. It'll be the next Wednesday. That way, and that and that's usually long enough for YouTube. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then Saturday at 8 p.m. I usually cut it off. So that's four days that you have to comment. Now, don't comment on this one, guys. I'm not doing it yet. If you comment on this one, it's not going to count. So, I mean, you can still comment say you like the video. You can do that. But the giveaway will not be until next Wednesday. Not this coming Wednesday. Not day after tomorrow. Today is um, 
Monday the 23rd. So it won't be the 25th, it'll be the next Wednesday. Okay, so let's do a little flip, and I got one other, there's a picture of a pug in this one. Ah, Jen, okay. Well, we'll have to let you color that one first, because I know you're going to get the book. <laughs> so I won't color the pug. Uh, let me see, I need to kind of prop it up a little. I might have to adjust the lighting for the white pages. And they are off-white page, just a little bit of off-white. They're not quite cream color. Um, let's see here, how can I do that? That might get too dark. Oh, that's better. <clears throat> so I started coloring the keys, again, with the copper and the pink. So I could make it like a rose gold. It looks kind of orange on camera. But there. So I did it kind of like pink and cop orange, so it looked like a rose gold. And they are metallic. I'm trying to get the shine to show. They're not glitter. They're, they're metallic. So they're not going to shine. They're not going to shine like uh, um, uh, stickles or anything, right? It's just metallic. So they're just shimmery. So that's all I've done in the book. I just wanted to do a little bit of a test, because you know her pages are pretty thick. So I'm just going to do a flip real quick. We love uh, the Hannah Carl's on books and this one's all about the jewelry box so it's lots of jewels lots of jewels up oh, there we go looky there Jen Jen will have to color this one she'll have to be the first person to color this page <laughs> and the coloring people video color tube people <laughs> That is so cute. And then look over here. It's got a little dog on a charm. And then all the jewels. Well, I'm going to finish flipping through it, Ange, and you decide. <laughs> so it's got, you know, her animals and her fairy tale style, but it's got a lot of jewelry. Yeah, it's you can pre-order on Amazon. Terry's posting links, and y'all can find it in Amazon. Just put in Hannah Carl's on um, jewelry box. Yes, you'll need to get this book, Jen. I mean, did was there even any question? <laughs> Look at that beetle. That is awesome right there. <laughs> Sammy goes, oh my gosh, I need this. I know. Well, like I said, I will do the giveaways next week. So, um, yeah. Hey, Army Linda. So y'all can thank Melody. Miss Melody's the one that sent these. She sent us three. <clears throat> so yeah, next week I'll do one. I'll do a giveaway here on UStream, and I'll do a separate giveaway on YouTube. And I do international because I don't. I don't do that many giveaways that are like full. I'm, I'm trying to do one book a month, so I can send y'all, you know, international one a month. If it comes to a person international getting one. Look at that. Look. How sweet is this? Look at all the details. She's got lots of um, butterflies, beetles, you know, in her jewelry. Perfume bottles. That's always great for practicing your glass. Kalora said, Craft Warehouse has the Posca metallic pins. Yeah, I'm probably Amazon too. Isn't this awesome, guys?
Look at this one. Are those peacocks or pheasant? I can't tell. Of course, you know, if you're going to color them with as almost like jewels, you can color them any color you want. But I know she is so sweet, isn't she, Suze? Look. Remember those little beaded bags? I mean, I can almost feel the texture like that's all beads, like little seed beads, like a little seed bead bag. I can almost feel the texture. I know, right, guys? And her books are all hardback, and now they're not, you know, they're not inexpensive, but they're quality hardback books. So... Thanks, Terry. And then here's some more jewels and rings. Look. That's how little Abby looks at me. <laughs> little love in her eyes. <laughs> now that's definitely a peacock there. I have to get, we'll have to get Anne, Fruit Bat Mama Anne to color that one. Don't email me, Anne. <laughs> Anne can color the peacock. I, and it's just like she has a joke about peacocks. I'm, I'm teasing her. So. <laughs> and look, the glass um, display case. You didn't know you're supposed to be practicing your glass. Well, get crack a lacking. Limo, Norma, you didn't know you're supposed to be practicing your glass. Get crack a lacking. And like a gilded cage. That will be so pretty. Hey, Jeannie. Little, I, I'm guessing those are hummingbirds. I mean, there's a lot in here. I didn't count the pages, and they're not numbered, so I can't, I don't know how many pages. But there's a lot. Look at all the ruffles. Yeah, I now got the whip from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, got the whip out, out, out on you, Norma. <laughs> Look at the little cats going down the path here. Little uh, jeweled collars. Jeweled snake. I mean, there's just so much, right? Isn't this like so much in a book? 96 pages, Terry? Terry was on Amazon, so it must have said. Thanks, Terry. You're just like, right on it, girl. Right on it. <laughs> hey, Bryn. I.E. Fluffy. <laughs> I like this mirrored image here. And the chandelier with the candles. Look, I'm probably going to want to do that one first. I love doing candles, flames, and and uh, glows around it. I don't remember which one of her books had, that I did that in. And then a thank you with a pen. Isn't that so sweet? So, yeah. So, it's either... Jewelry or the jewel box is that what it translates? 
so yeah so again Miss Melody sent us three of these so I'm going to give away two next week whatever probably Wednesday a week from a week from this Wednesday the 25th that Wednesday we'll do a, a a double giveaway we'll do one giveaway here on Ustream and then I'll set up a, a YouTube giveaway so thanks Miss Melody and then the last thing I want to show in this old book new book segment somebody sent me abandoned castles who wants to fess up there was no name on it it came from San Francisco bookstore uh, San Francisco book depositories uh, something store <laughs> And uh, there was no name, so I have no idea who sent this to me. I'm sharpening all your new Derwent Pro. Oh, you got some new Derwent Pro colors. <gasps> Pencil shavings are everywhere. Whoa. <laughs> You'll have to let us know how, they, how you like them. So... Yeah, so anyway, I, I knew this was out there, but I said, I don't need another abandoned book. I'm already working on four. I am working on four abandoned books, altering them. Now I've got to work on five. I think I saw Nana, Tracy Nana's place has this one. I don't think she's worked in it yet. Uh, I think that's where I saw it first. Um, if y'all don't follow Nana's place, y'all... If you want to see somebody else that has a passion for altering abandoned books like I do, I think Tracy might just like it just as much, probably more. I mean, the way she talks about her abandoned books is like she's a pet in those babies. She's petting, petting, gluing, cutting, painting, petting. Um, but anyway, so because I have four of them, I said, well, I'm not going to get it. Well, somebody, it wasn't you, Suze, somebody got it for me. Bye, Kalora. Have a great day. Have a great Monday as well. Have a good day at work. Uh, Brynn, you have it, but you haven't worked in it yet? Okay. Um, so anyway, <laughs> I don't know. Somebody want to fess up? Let me know. Um, you are working in yours, Norma? It's your favorite one now? I didn't say, Melissa. I don't know who sent it to me. There's no name. Um, let me just prop this up just a tiny bit so that it's... <clears throat> I'll prop this up. I also came across when I was cleaning out my cards, my, um, my uh, Kyla Give Hand um, Inspiration Deck. Maybe we should work in this again sometime soon. The mix. I have three decks here. I think there's three. I think like two full decks and a, there was a, like an extra set. Uh, the Mixed Media Inspiration Deck. Uh, the, yeah, that was the expansion pack. So I bought all these after she showed Barb show, had her on her show. But anyway, I came across these when I was cleaning out all my uh, cards, you know. So it's just about the right size to prop up the book. <laughs> so there we go, just to take the glare off. Um, just finished another page in it last night. Okay. Norma, do you do, I, yeah, do you, don't you post on Instagram? Don't I follow you on Instagram? Uh oh, let's turn off the whip. <laughs> Let me see here, Norma. Um, I think your name is Lemma over there, too. Okay, I'm not finding you under Limo, Norma. What's your Instagram name? I was going to show one of your pictures, but I can't find you. What's your Instagram name, um, Norma? Those cards, I, they are so much fun, right, Eileen? We've played with them a few times. I'll read them to y'all if y'all want um, at the end, after I show this book. I don't know that I can't, guys, I don't know if she's reprinted them. I don't know if they're still available. But you can go to her blog and, and look, okay? Um, I don't know if they're still available. You're, you're on Twitter. Okay, then that's what I can't remember where I saw. I know I saw them somewhere. Didn't you post uh, one or two of them? Ah, oh, there you go. Okay, I found you. I found you. Okay, let's see. Well, I don't find your pages. Did you not post these? Your altered pages? I see lots of, um, I think it's your uh, 
what do you call it, Janet's challenge, but I don't see any pages. Yeah, I found you. I found you, Norma, but I don't see any pages from your altered books. I see your, um, uh, uh, not the scrapbook, uh, the, uh, the challenge. Hmm. Well, maybe I'm just missing them, but I, I just see your, uh, Janet challenge. Okay. Um, yes. Yes. Jean has a, a list of different ones that all the girls made up on her blog. Let me make a note of that if I can find the link to directly to it. Um, if I can, I'll put it in the description. Um, music scraps. Um, prompts. And everybody made a bunch of them up while she was uh, doing a thing. And so they're all, uh, what do you call it, uh... Hang on, let me, come on, hang on, guys. See, when I clean, I find all kinds of things. These are, these are Jean's prompts. If y'all want, I'll read them. I'll read the prompts. These are from Jean's uh, prompts. <laughs> oh, you haven't posted pages. Okay, I'm thinking of somebody else then that posted pages. Um, Limo Norma. Okay. Oh, so she does have them. They are available, Terry. Okay, let me write that down. I'll try to remember to put links because people ask me all the time, well, I need a link to this. And sometimes, because I, I can't leave here, guys, while I'm streaming to go get the links. So, um, I'm writing it down to dot com slash store. Okay, so they are available. Okay, so we'll show those too. Jeans and free. Jeans, you can just go to her blog. To her blog and get those, okay? Hers are, well, anyway. All right, so let me go ahead and show this first because we're really on a lot of rabbit trails today. <laughs> Let's par for the course around here. Okay, so did anybody fess up yet and tell me who sent this? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to just do a quick flip through. I'm not going to read anything. Um, but look at this. Look at this. Mm -mm -mm. <sighs> this is the top of the top of the uh, Enterprise. The when it's docked, they turn it into a garden. We need Spock, Captain Kirk. <laughs> this is what the Enterprise looks like when it's docked. They turn it into a garden on the top. <laughs> <laughs> I told Eileen, I said, oh my gosh, I can't wait to work in this book. I can imagine all kinds of animals, creatures, and other things on it. And, she, and Eileen said something like, I worry about those other things. <laughs> you pet your pages a lot? Yeah. Yeah, Eileen was going, I worry about those other things. <laughs> Look like your coffee cup you forgot to wash out. Oh my gosh, Eileen, you're so bad. And here's the chocolate that you dip in it. <laughs> oh, so anyway, it's just really very cool. And I've looked at it in the store. I've looked at it in uh, uh, in the stores. But I just thought, you know, I, I just, I've got four other books I'm working in. Four people. But, you know, well, one more. What's one more? Yeah, I wait. What's one more? We'll, we'll get to them. And look, this looks like I painted it. I mean, I have literally painted uh, light coming in windows in some of the other books. That looks just like I painted it. Oh, my gosh. I mean, that that just amazes me right there. <laughs> I'm not going to repeat that, Eileen. We'll just say it looked like uh, Janet's candy, Janet's chocolate candy. <laughs> oh. 
Isn't this so cool, though, guys? I mean, we got to admit. It gets better and better. Yeah, Norma saying it gets better and better. I know. Aren't they awesome pictures? I, I'm waiting for someone to fess up. Hey, Vicki. Did you send me this, Vicki? I don't know who sent me this. It didn't come with a gift note or anything like that, you know. Look at this, guys. Oh, <gasps> planets. Oh, I mean, I'm going to just take a quick moment here. Hang on. Um, don't close on me here. Hang on. One minute, guys, just to show you something very cool. Hang on. I'll put my arm on it. I got to I got to look through here. Hang on a minute. Hmm. Oh, I like that one. Maybe that's a good example. Hang on. Quick fussy cut here. Quick fussy cut out of my marble book. I could get, I could get my punch out and punch it, but I will I will fussy trim it up later. But look. I mean, you know, mm -mm -mm. marbles to the rescue. I'm going to leave that in there. <laughs> it needs a dragon. It could. You know what uh, kind of dragon I like to use for dragons, uh, Bryn? The, and I forget what the uh, name of them, the, like at the uh, Georgia Aquarium, the, the dragons, they're, they're not seahorses. They're not seahorses, but they have like a, a long snout and they're little, they have the little wings that do this. There's a name for those. <laughs> it's not coming to me, uh, but they have their little wings go like this when they move and they just kind of float. That's what kind of dragon I will put on here. You might need this one too. Yeah, yeah, Melissa. It's a good one. Okay, let's keep going. Oh, fire and lightning in this one. Someone needs to fess up to who got this for me. Sea dragon? Terry. Oh, it's just called a sea dragon. <laughs> Thanks, Terry. <laughs> Thanks, Julie. Hi. Good morning, Julie Topaz. Leafy sea dragon. Yeah, leafy. That was the word I was trying to get. The leafy. Because they're little wings. They have little wings. And they're, they're leafy. They look like little leaves. They're so cute. Look. Can't y'all imagine it by me doing this? Uh, <laughs> yeah, that red one looks o ominous. Yeah, this one. Or the yellow and orange oh you're getting good ideas good good if y'all and really if y'all like uh, watching me do there's a there's quite a few girls out there that are doing abandoned books and bless their hearts they all say thank you Dee, Dee for telling us and showing us how to do it and Nana Nana's place that's the name of her YouTube channel and let me write that down so I'll try to remember to link all these people here hang on nana's place i've linked her before but just in case uh she oh my gosh she she's in love with her uh altered uh work yes that's sign language for leafy <laughs> uh, no about the only sign language i know is the alphabet and a few things like please thank you hello because we have a um deaf um, a deaf man that works at my Publix grocery store, and anytime I see him, I, I want to, you know, do the do the thank you and you know and all that. So, but I did. I used to know the al. I mean the hand the alphabet. Yeah, Nana's play. You watch Nana's place too, limo. Yeah, she's awesome. She's fun. Um. <clears throat> So look at that. Isn't that cool? It's like the castle from the sky. This one is in Scotland. In Dumfries and Galloway. When the Maxwell family sided with King Charles I during the English Civil War, K 
Cal- Calvarock was besieged for the final time. For 13 weeks in 1640, the Maxwells held out before being overwhelmed by the parliamentarians. After that, the parliamentarians made, and I'm probably not pronouncing this rock, right, um, Carlaver Rock unfit for defense and it fell into ruin. Yes. My grandma, grandma's mother came from Scotland. Or No, was it her grandmother? Grandma's grandma. My sister Jody did ancestry on my grandmother. And, um, yeah, so apparently on my grandmother's side, even though she was raised by Native American Indians, uh, apparently her grandmother came from Scotland. Her name was Martha Stewart. Really, it's really was named Martha Stewart, but not that Martha Stewart. <laughs> not that Martha Stewart. <laughs> but, you know, um, that's what Jody uh, found out. I haven't done that. Has anybody here done the Ancestry DNA or 23 DNA? Would any of them? Has anybody done any of those yet? I keep looking for tiny people to use in... But I can't find any guess. Yeah, see, I usually paint my own little people. Now, there's a couple um, in... Which one was it? Did I, was it Abandoned? I did the... Uh, I don't put too many people in mine, Brynn, because like I said, I like I like you, i.e. the person, to be... Um, no, it wasn't in this one. I don't think. The Asian lady with the magic wand. Which book did I do that in? I can't remember which book was which one, but I did an Asian lady with a magic wand uh, in space, but I don't think it was in abandoned places, wasn't it? Which one was it in? Ah, I guess it was. Here it is. So here's the one I did here with the lady here, but I don't put people in, in many of them, but I love the idea of her coming out of this building like a, you know, like a you know, uh, a magical creature, and she has her wand that turns into a feather, and there's this, it just goes all the way around, there's the little buildings, there's a little uh, highway here that crosses over the space, the space-time continuum, <laughs> my brother's girlfriend's deaf, and he is without his hearing aids, I bought. So do you did you learn sign language, Lynette? You're afraid to, Eileen? Well, Eileen, you probably should be afraid. No, I'm just kidding. Eileen, you're from your whole family's from um UK, aren't they? Aren't aren't you a bunch of Brits over there? And I mean that in a loving way. I mean I'm not making fun of British. I mean I'm just saying it like they say it. I, I've just done your DNA so interesting. I've, so you did find out about yourself, Limo? Terry did? T did I miss it? What did Terry say? Let me scroll back here. I missed what Terry said if she did hers. Oh, you can do enough sign language to talk to her? Good for you, Lynette. Good for you. Leah did Ancestry three generations. No, your father's side is Dutch and, and American Indian. Why did I think, did, is it just because y'all lived in England, Eileen? Is it just because you lived in the UK or your family lived in the UK that I assumed that? Oh, Terry, I thought somebody said that you, uh, Julie Topaz said, Terry did. I thought she meant your DNA. <laughs> so anyway, yeah, so this one is one of the few that I have a person in. Okay, so let's keep working on the castles here. Oh, you did. Okay, yes, English and Irish. Okay, Eileen, my mom is from England. Okay, we'll see, Eileen. Eileen's like trying to say no, uh -uh. and then now she's backing up her backpedaling her story there. 
Janet has done a lot of um, of ancestry stuff, as has my sister Jody. Um, I think Jody took our family back as far as she could uh, on on my grandma's side to Scotland, uh, my grandmother's grandmother, and then the records don't go back any further than that through ancestry. I mean, I'm sure, you know, if you go over there, you can probably, you know, but that ain't happening. You know, here comes Hubster through the garage again. <laughs> awesome, Lynette. It's so fun. And so, anyway, I'm thinking about, you know, thinking about doing the ancestry. So, isn't this awesome, guys? Look, right here, paint that out. There's a whole world in, in there. Paint this out black. I still want someone to fess up who gave this to me. Ooh, look at this creepy one. <gasps> Love this. Look at that one. My dad's family's from my cat. Okay. Isn't that cool? Mist coming across this. Oh. This is all going to be misty. I know, right? Thank you, Terry, for putting in the links. Yeah, you can get this on Amazon, Abandoned Castle. Somebody remind me to set up an Amazon affiliate. <laughs> I recommend a, probably a book every single show. I have not done it. I did go on the website. Okay. Yeah, my that's, we my sister Jody did um, ancestry for herself, um, and but she's done she ha, this this it's kind of complicated in our family. But anyway, um, she she followed grandma. That's the trail she went on. <clears throat> Oh, the Barnabas. I don't know which one that was because there's a, um, there's a, you know, the lag, Julie. So I don't know which one was the Barnabas Castle because um, there's like a 30 second delay. I'm trying to just see. Oh, the one with the one I liked with the, hang on. Oh, um, sure. Yeah. Thank um, you. I'm going to run down and give it some track. Okay. Is this? Yeah. I oh, want ever. Okay. All right. No. This one right here. Barnabas Castle. Hang on. Where's the overleaf? Well, there's no... Um... Ah, here we go. I knew going to be an overleaf. That's left. Okay, here. Um... No, that's not this one then. I don't know which one you're talking about, Julie Topaz. This one is a in Poland. This one's in Poland. Uh, Melissa, I was going to work on some art cards. I mean, I've already started. I glued some stuff down just to have them started. But we could, we could work. I don't want. I'm not working this till somebody fesses up to who sent it. I want to know who sent this. <laughs> Nobody's fessed up yet. <laughs> I wonder if you can get Dark Shadows on Netflix. Um, where did I see Netflix uh, something on Dark Shadows? What did I see about it? Hmm. I said so my husband did it too, and that gave each other for our birthdays this year. Yeah, and, and they always have sales at like holiday time. Like I think Ancestry had like a fifty-nine dollar sale at Christmas. Mother's Day, they may have another sale at Mother's Day on Ancestry. So, yeah. And Ancestry is what um, what Lisa and that they use on the show. Thank you. On the show, um, Long Lost. Long lo what are you letting the cats in here? No, oh, that's all right. Just I'll leave the door open so I can run them out if I need to. Um Long lost family, long lost life. What is it called again? Oh, it just slipped my mind. Anyway, they use ancestry. 
and they seem to always have good results. Of course, they always, you know, they, they're on the inside, you know. Mm. Yes, Melissa. <laughs> uh -huh. Hoopla has dark shadows on it. Okay. I saw something about it here a couple of months ago, so I don't remember. All right, Melody. Thank you so much. Thanks so much for sharing the books with us. We're going to do the giveaway on the um, Jewel Box Hannah Carlson books next week. Thanks so much for sharing with us, Melody. Very, very kind and generous. Very kind and generous. Say, look, the mist. So you can paint that. You can do that with a baby wipe and white acrylic paint, people. <laughs> Who do you think you are is a good program on Ancestry? Oh, that's on. If you go to Ancestry.com, Julie Topaz, Who Do You Think You Are is the program. Okay. Well, I'm talking about doing the spit test, you know, the actual DNA. I'm talking about doing the DNA testing. And I did read up on the difference between the Ancestry and the 23andMe. One does the, through the mother, your mother's DNA, and one does through the father's. I think you have to pay more to do both. I think that's more intense to do your father's DNA through 23. I think that's through 23andMe. You'd have to research it, but yeah. The spitting was fun, Terry. <laughs> Look at this one. It's the boat there. Another good one here. Clouds. You can do all this with paint, people. And paint in your finger. <laughs> oh, it's a TV show. Okay. Okay. I don't think I've heard of that TV show. I thought maybe it was something through Ancestry. But I'm thinking of the other one. With Lisa and Chris. Long Lost Family? No, it's, I thought it was Long Lost something else with the L, but maybe it's Long Lost Family. It's just on last night. It's on every Sunday night. They have a new series just started two weeks ago. Well, yeah, last week. What's 340 now, Lynette? I'm not sure what's 340. You mean... The Dark Shadows, Lynette? I think Lynette's saying that six seasons are free. Oh, you can watch it on Amazon Prime. Okay. Well, I'm not paying $340 to watch Barnabas and <laughs> Dark Shadows. Eileen might. Eileen might do it. <laughs> Uh, oh, look at this. Isn't that beautiful? It's a purple and orange sky. Love it. And this one's got pink and blue. So there's lots of good stuff. This will be fun. Look. A little gateway there. A little portal. This will be a fun one. But nobody's fessed up yet, so whoever sent it to me must not be here in chat. We got almost 90 people here. No one's fessing up. <laughs> Thanks, Terry, for putting in links. Everybody's links are open. Y'all want to link things. Look at that. Isn't that just beautiful? So thank you whoever sent this. Oh, look at that one. This one is in uh, Cheshire. Do you girls that live in the UK... And I know, I don't know anybody that's here from Scotland. I mean, um, Fiona is on Isle of Man. But do you all ever go to these castles? Do you ever do road trips? 
day trips? Do you go to these places? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Season 1 through 26 are free on Amazon Prime for um, a Dark Shadows, Eileen. Well, you better get crack -a I think Lynette, I mean, I think Bryn, she's talking about Dark Shadows. We won't be seeing Eileen probably now until Janet gets back from uh, Oz. <laughs> <laughs> so do any of you girls over there visit these places I don't see pictures and you know the same if you don't have pictures it doesn't it didn't happen <laughs> oh look at this fort here this is in Russia When we lived in Switzerland, we visited lots of old castles and some dating back to 600. But I mean, like Ireland, Scotland, UK, it seems like they got one on every corner. I mean, you know, they're old, you know. <laughs> we don't have any castles over here unless you think of the Biltmore. <laughs> All right, Eileen. Oh, look at this one. I love this one. Because I like, look how it has the arch on the sides here. So there's a lot of pages in here. I'm up to page 219 now, so 220 pages in this book. Look, a robot. There's a robot right there. <laughs> Susie Q says she's been to a few Windsor, Rochester, Ardell, Ar Arundel, Arundel. So, yeah, awesome. So, thank you, whoever sent this to me. Yeah, Abandoned Castles. Kirion Connolly. Yeah. Okay, the same person that did the abandoned places. All right, so real quick, let's see. We're we're still good on time. Hubster ran. He he ran away from home for the day. Um. Mm -hmm. So I got all my list of everybody to put in the description box. Okay, so now what we're going to do real quick on this segment because I said I would, I'm going to do a little. A little talk about the prompts here. Should I put this on the next one? I've already said I'm going to put it on this one, so I guess I better put it on this one, right? <laughs> Since I already said, people wait. Well, oh, where is it? I'll put it on the next video. What? <laughs> uh, you'd never be able to alter it, Terry. Yeah, you could. You would know you, Terry. You'd just buy two. One to keep and one to alter. <laughs> uh... Here's a list of the castle in America. I can't go to it, Eileen. Is that is it the Biltmore? Eileen, is that what you're linking there? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to show you the Kyla Gibham. Again, I think this is three sets. I think this is two sets and an expansion pack. This says this one says ex expansion. They're all mixed up. So I got to say, guys, I'm not. I think I shuffled them all up together. The mixed media inspiration deck. And so these are upside down. So I think there's three sets in here. So I cannot tell you which one's which. Because it's expansion pack is all mixed in. But if you like this type of uh, prompt cards, I'll give you a little preview of some of them. And we have played with these before. I'm not going to do this now, but I'll just show you. So if you want to order some, I'm trying to just get them all straightened out here. I came across them while I was cleaning this weekend. They had got lost in some of my cards. Um, oh, there's a list of them there. Okay, thanks, Eileen. You know they're not going to be castles like our ca like castles over there. 
Um, okay. All right. So, Kyla Give Hand get, did these, and there's still some upside down. Mixed Media Inspiration decks that she sold a couple years ago. I think it's been a couple years by now. And uh, we've played with them a few times. I don't know. Why are they? I still have some upside down. I thought I'd switch them all around. This one. It's just be, it'll be easier for me to flip through if they're all going the same way. And again, this is three different decks. And uh, Terry, Terry has, and I'll try to remember to put it in the uh, in the description box, but it's kylagivehand.com slash store is where you can find them. And uh, so some are, like I said, some are expansion packs. Here's her, this is the card I think that tells about it. Suggestions for using the deck. The Mixed Media Inspiration deck is designed to be used for making artistic creations and can be used in a variety of ways. Here are a few. And then she has like, uh, keep the deck nearby if you feel stuck. Uh, deal several cards and build up um, your mixed media piece. And I think that's how we did it. We would start it. Now, I got to say that's kind of can be tricky because sometimes you're going to get a layer that doesn't work over another layer. Like let's say you put glitter down and then you're supposed to write something. Well, that's not going to work. You're not going to be able to write over glitter. You know, so I would recommend dealing out five or six cards and then incorporating them anyway in, in the sequence that works best for your mediums. Because if you try to, like I said, write marker over glitter, you're, you're just going to frustrate yourself. So deal yourself out, you know, a few cards and then look at them, read them all and, and do them in the sequence that works best for whatever medium you're using. <clears throat> Bishop's Castle in Colorado is amazing, built by one man. I think I, there was a show on that. Um, was it, who was it? Was it Josh Gay? Somebody did something on that. Uh, I think that was it. His, his daughter, he built it for his daughter, or I forgot. But anyway, Susie Q says, at Rochester Castle, I had a very scary deja vu moment, as if you'd been there before, but it was only the ru ruins. Yeah, deja vu is weird, isn't it? It doesn't happen to me very often. Dot, Dot says, well, she's talking to, okay, uh, Eileen, it was so much fun watching you do these cards. Yeah, we'll have to do it again. And I'll shuffle them out, pick out, not today, but I'll shuffle them out, pick five or six, and then I'll read them. I won't try to do them in the order I pick them. Because if you try to do that, like I said, your mediums can sometimes frustrate you if you can't work one over the other. Uh, shuffle the deck several times. Build a mixed media piece using all 52 cards. Uh, again, there's I've got more than one deck here. Uh, create in groups with a partner. This deck is not intended to replace your creative direction or to stifle you, but to act as a supplement to your art practice. So consider each card a suggestion. And we did do that too on, on one of the projects. Um, the, the glue wouldn't, wasn't going to work or something. So don't, don't feel like, oh my gosh, I got to do it exactly like that or I'm cheating or something. You're not. It's your card. You're, you, you know, you do it how you want. <clears throat> okay, so again, there's all different kinds here. Like here's just one that says out of pocket. Then this set here says use a crafty tool. Punches, doilies, sponge. I'm trying to read it here. Um, plastic, canvas. So use a crafty tool with paints or spray inks. Add a 3D element, doodle or draw random shapes and then there's some that are longer i think are these the expansion pack yeah the expansion packs have a <clears throat> little list here add random papers torn or cut to one area of your surface number two add free form sewing or and that was one thing i think i got a sewing one i don't sew so we i think we skipped that um 
at Freeform Sewing or Stitch Like Rub-Ons or Doodles to the page. Add another layer with either transparent paper, thin fabric, or tissue paper. Think of this as making a collage quilt. Try it over the entire page. You know, there's just all different things. Uh, and then here's our website, kylagivehand.com, for more inspiration or to purchase more expansion packs. And there's her websites and all that. Create a washi tape collage. And then she's got like four things on this one. This one's got five or six things on it. That's the expansion pack. The expansion packs, I think, are the ones that have like lists of things. Glue vintage papers to your page. Add light wash of paint or spray inks. Add an image or images printed on vellum or transparency. Add other elements. Stamps, stickers, doodles, etc. So you see, so there's on the expansion packs, they have lots of, lots of lists. There, it's a smaller deck, but there's more things on the page or on the card. Use an old toothbrush to splatter. And see, if you if you do these random, if you pull these random, all right, so for instance, I'm going to turn these over and I'm going to pull five. One, two. I'm not going to pull the expansion pack. Three. Four. Five. Okay, so, it, whoops. So let's just say you pick these five. And if you want to do them randomly, or if you want to do them in order, or just, you know, look at all of them and use all of them. Okay, so let's just say we picked these five that you had to use on a piece. Okay, so add collage elements. And then she gives you hints, like newspaper, uh, magazine image, scrapbook paper, stickers. You know, we know what collage is. But, all right, so add collage elements. Journal with a permanent pen. Add doodles or text using a white marker or pen. Go stencil crazy. Add three or more stencil images and add a tip in. So if you took these five and, and use them, not necessarily in order. Like I said, I recommend not doing them in the order you picked because it's going to frustrate you when you go to try to do something on top of something else. Um, but using all five of these, you have them, they're fun. Yeah, Dot. We I we, we played with them a few times on, on here. It's been a while. But uh, I came across them while I was cleaning this weekend. So, you know, you might start with the collage and then add some doodles and then maybe some stencils and then journal with a permanent pen and then finally a tip in. You might, you know, do it like that. But, you know, it's totally up to you. But I would recommend sorting out an order before you... Um, before you did it so yeah lose your mojo and get it back again exactly and there's all kinds of cards out there it's just that we know kyla so we you know we used her we bought them <laughs> we support her okay so then on i i mean on gene show now this was some years ago this was i think before i'm pretty sure it was before we knew about you know this kind of thing uh everybody got together and just listed things and then I have a separate bag here where I, if we used it, we put it in that bag. But I'm just going to take them all out because I'm, you know, uh, I don't know. There's a couple hundred things here. <laughs> I won't read them all. <laughs> Maybe I will. No, I won't read them all. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, that's a good idea, Pacola. Maybe a society of uh, uh, a society of idea collector episodes using uh, either these or um, Kyla's or both. So, again, I came across these while I was cleaning. <laughs> I almost threw them away, guys, because they are on Jean's uh, blog. I said, well, if I need them, I'll just go over there and get them. But, you know, we, I took a lot of time to cut these up and make a, a bag full of uh, prompts. <laughs> but, yeah, that's a good idea, Pacola, a Society of Idea Collectors episode using some of the prompts. We'll have to do that. i got to write that down. Okay, so Pecola's, Pecola suggests a prompt Society of Idea Collector segment. Okay. I live off post-it notes, people. Okay, so let's read a few of these. And again, I'll try to put the link to Jean's blog. I'll try to find the direct link 
to it. And excuse all my cuts, guys. I got paper cuts and all kinds of cuts when I was cleaning this weekend. Um, some of them are so funny to watch me do. Yeah. <laughs> so this will just be a little moment here. You know, you just it's just fun to kind of pet them. All right, so let's pick a few. So there's all kinds of things in here, right? Use something out of your junk drawer to stamp with. Add a selfie, and they're numbered. I don't remember how many there were. Were there 200 of them? I don't remember. Journal on the page. And remember, these you're supposed to just pick them, you know, random. And you can do the same thing like with the Kyla Give Hand cards. Pick five or six. Pick five or six and then put them in order that is best suited for the mediums that you pick. Repeat something you already did. Make a Brad Spinner to pick a color. Okay, so, or fi just find some way to do a random color. You know. Add your favorite candy wrapper. Use a repetitive pattern. Pleat a piece of paper and attach. I think we had end up doing that one. Sew something down with machine or by hand. Use string and ink to doodle with. Melt crayons and use to paint. I think we did some of this on the big scroll, didn't we, Arlene? Like the melting crayon. I think we did that on the scroll. Make a pop-up. Make something with scraps. And again, if you pick five, like, let me, let's do an example. I'm going to pick five random things. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so let's say I pick these five. And you had to do it all on one thing. Okay? Not, again, don't necessarily go with the order you pick. Just use all five things. Use the word gratitude. Draw a flower with your non-dominant hand. Use a household item as a stencil. Weave strips of magazine together. And here comes the cat. Hello there. Hey there, Oliver, you big fluffy guy, you. He's like a polar bear. His fur is like a polar bear. I'm not kidding. Uh, and use a jelly plate. So if you did those five things, that's a whole project in itself. You're laying on my props, mister. Look up here. Look up here. Look up here. There you go. And he's purring. He's just so big and fluffy. His fur is like a polar bear fur. I'm not kidding. Um, Malibu is smaller than him. He's big and fluffy. Big and fluffy. So there's our little, well, our big boy, Oliver. Big boy Oliver. Okay, so all these are stuck to his fur. Let's see if I can get them all out from under him. All right, let me read a couple more here. Make ink blots. Use a straw to blow paint on the page. Um... Yes, I see you. Add something from a magazine. I'm probably repeating some of these. Write something using a number or alpha code. Use bubble wrap. He loves my paint brushes too. Modeling paste or texture paste. Use a transparency. All right, I'll pet you. I'm petting. I'm petting. Um. Confet uh, glue down confetti. Now what are you going to do? Huh? What are you going to do now? <laughs> what are you going to do now that I threw them all on you? Huh? He doesn't know which one to grab. So anyway... Yeah. 
All right, so I'm going to stop this, and we're going to do a separate video. I, I thought about doing some art, finishing up some art cards, but I will have to get rid of the cat out of the de off the desk. So <laughs> I had already started gluing some things down to start some art cards. Uh, I'm I have people on the waiting list for art cards, and. Um, What are you going to do? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to stop this video, guys, and I'll be right back. Thanks for watching.